Opting into Shadow Empire's optional beta patches will give you access to some of the bleeding edge development that is going on with the game right now. Uh, we are currently on 1.20 T2, but if we roll back a couple of patches, and about a week ago, uh, we had the patch 1.20S, and this fixed a bunch of stuff as always, but we also got a very, very interesting set of changes that have started to come in to the AI for aircrafts. So one of the issues with Shadow Empire with aircrafts, um, aside from the you know the model design problem that we had before, was that the AI just wasn't really using them very much. And it was interesting because you would see the AI build things like anti-aircraft guns. So it, it was definitely, you know, and SAM launches and, you know, man pads and stuff. So it was actually preparing for to defend against the aircraft being used by the players. And it would use some small amounts of bombers and recon. But it was very, very underwhelming, I've got to say. And particularly if you were going up against a large empire that had, had plenty of time to build, you know, build its forces, it would build air bases. Uh, but the amount of aircraft that it uses was woefully inadequate in my opinion and um, as just one game aside where it kind of used them reasonably well in all the other games that i ever played with aircraft it, it barely used them and it was it was very disappointing now this is interesting to see and i'm just going to read these the, the patch notes just very very quickly so uh, this is the developer pick uh, started work on ai being better at using air forces see the points below uh, AI improved desired air units calculations and made AI less cautious in producing air units. This is good. So basically, this is basically this is going to mean it's going to make more air units. Okay, uh, that was probably part of the problem before. It did use air units, and it definitely like it used recon, and it definitely used bombers because I I I remember I've got a game save showing where the AI will actually use bombers, but like I said, it just wasn't using enough for it to be really effective. You'd often get the AI just, you know, building a handful of these units, and then it would it would sort of hit you in a, in one hex per turn, and that was about it. Really, when I'm thinking about an air war, you know, I'm I'm expecting to be hit on in multiple tiles every turn, you know, in preparation for ground operations or in support of ground operations. And so, I don't know if any of you played a game like War in the East, which has got a really quite complex air war simulation. At least in the first few turns of uh, War in the East Two you're going to be watching the air force stuff go you know if you set the the ai or, or if you set the game to actually watch the air war stuff in quite in some detail it goes on for ages <laughs> there's so many like there's so many attacks like interceptions um there's all sorts of stuff going on and that's kind of what i'm expecting in shadow empire you know at least obviously not to that same kind of level but yeah and really it's not like that so increasing the amount of aircraft the aircraft that the ai is building that's got to help uh, decrease the negative impact on air unit production by low unit front unit to frontage ratio and high recruit count waiting for uh, placement. Okay, so this is going to help air units be in production again. Added a conditional, if not enough for present, boost for aircraft production and tanks somewhat as well. So this is interesting too. Again, this is just more, more details explaining how he's gone about this, but it sounds like this is actually going to boost tank production for, uh, you know, for the AI too. Now, I think that... Uh, I don't always play on very, very open maps anymore, and the reason being is because I find them a little bit easy and boring. So I don't you I don't play on maps where tanks are always, you know, the the be all and end all, which is one of the reasons why you've heard me talk about things like light tanks. Whereas you know, I think the community meta or you know consensus for a while was that light tanks were really overpowered. I just didn't really see it, but I think that's partly because I just play on planets with lots of forests and lots of mountains where they're just not that useful. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see uh, if this is going to make a difference to tank production too. Uh, aircraft favor creation of new units over order of battle upgrades. Okay, so it's going to build more units rather than um, upgrading the ones that it's got. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, improved AI aircraft quality setting evaluations. AI should re research more air techs now. It only really did so if it had a preference for artillery tech path before. Offensive mindedness is now also a modifier. And AI is making better air models, and a lot of cases where it gets got stuck with a non-viable design have been sold. Solved. Okay, so altogether, this looks like the beginning of you know um, a sort of pass for the AI 
using air forces now and I'm really really excited with this because basically Shadow Empire has got a really really wonderful aircraft design system and it was marred by the uh, the original you know model design process being very very onerous and just difficult to use I mean anybody who's watching my current series on Oceania which was made before this blueprint patch came in we'll see I'm still having to go you know go through the the model design process for aircraft and it's just it's really really painful um, I don't know if we've got one yeah we, we haven't got one here but I can't I can't actually do it but yeah you, you'll know what I'm talking about anybody who's played this for any length of time before this patch will know that this was a real nightmare the thing is having great aircraft is only fun if you've got something to use them against and having it so that you've got this you know really really powerful air force with these really strong bombers isn't really that useful if you're it, well it's not really that fun if you're using it against an ai that doesn't really fight back against it and you know so really once you start getting air aircraft out the ai just didn't really keep up and it made the game actually a lot easier for the player in a game that and this might surprise some of you who are coming to this game relatively recently or you know maybe you've struggled with the game but actually i think if once you've been playing this game for a while even on very hard and impossible difficulty you'll get to the point where you know you know kind of how the ai works and aircraft really does did make the game a lot easier because the ai just wasn't using it in the same proportion that the player does so i'm very very keen to see how this is working out now i um over at explominate on the discord i've had people send me some screenshots and little reports that the AI has indeed improved the not only the amount of aircraft that it's building, but how many. Now I've not had chance to test this out myself. Um, I'm I've got a current game on Oceania going on, and as I said, I started it before this patch came out, and the, you will only see these changes in the latest beta patch, whether that's on Steam or on Matrix. Okay. And as, as usual, uh, people who are playing on Gogo are unfortunately going to have to wait until the the official version comes out because the way the Gog works with betas is just a bit weird. So, I, what I'm asking people here is, can you? I want I want to know: Have you played? Have you started a new game since this um, S patch? And have you seen the AI use more aircraft? Like, have you done what I've done here and started on you know, Tech Level Five or something? and you know played through because i don't actually have time to do this at the moment but um i'm actually I'm, this is almost more important to me than oceania was like don't get me wrong i love what oceania is bringing and the more i play it the more i'm loving it uh, it's very much an it's very much an economic improvement rather than i mean the, the the ocean stuff's really really cool but actually what i'm really loving about it is this whole the fact that you've really got to go into the economic simulation now and really understand it because you need money and in order to get money you've got to understand how the, the economics works and the industry works and I'm loving that but even more important than that for me personally speaking is aircraft I want the AI to be like you know sending aircraft at me I want it to I want to have to get my you know fighter screens coverage I want I, I need to, I want the AI to be able to attack me with bombers I want it to defend itself with fighters and you know sand missiles and anti-aircraft guns when i'm bringing my own bombers in i want to see thropters coming in i want to see it using helicopter i want it, i just want to see the aircraft stuff okay that's more important to me than oceania uh, honestly i'll be i'll be dead honest with you like I, I like oceania but i want air war that's what i want and so yeah i want you guys to tell me have you seen this is it working because the initial indications that i'm getting from friends of mine who play are yes this looks way better now and it's a big improvement uh, i'm sure that the developer vic would love feedback as well so if you yeah it, let us know how it's getting on because i think it's really important that this this aspect of the game gets a you know a glow up as people are saying i think a glow up on air on air forces would make this game drastically better and shadow empire is al already pretty much my one of my favorite games it's up there with conquest of elysium as being my favorite game and I think that 
uh, you know, the ground war aspect of it is already one of the best war games I've ever played, whether it's a historical or a, you know, or a sci-fi game like this or a 4X. And this is, you know, just adding air wars to it and, you know, potentially if we're lucky, you know, maybe getting some naval stuff as well coming in. I think Shadow Empire is just going to be an absolute banger. Okay, folks, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments and how you feel about this. And I want to hear your reports. Go out there and test it and let me know. Thanks, guys. Take care.